Hello everybody and welcome to Parks Bros. It's Drew here and today we're going to be counting down all of the rides and roller coasters at SeaWorld San Diego and rank them based on your vote. It's finally time for the seventh episode in this series. Today, we're heading all the way down to Mission Bay and San Diego, California for the rides of SeaWorld San Diego, the original SeaWorld Park. As of 2022, this park is home to 16 different attractions. And just a couple of weeks ago, we sent out a Google form through our community tab asking for you all to rate each ride individually on a score basis from one to 10 with 10 of course being a perfect ride in your mind and one well let's just say not so perfect we totaled up the scores and this is what we got so first let's head into the kid friendly rides coming in all the way down at 16 on this list is the ride known as aqua scout it's a fun one it spins you around and bounces you too but at number 15 just ahead of it is octo rock which is a perfect little swing ride hopping over to number 14, we're going to head to the Sesame Street area, Bay of Play, for Oscar's Rockin' Eel. At 13, we're staying in that area for Elmo's Flying Fish, another fun experience for the little ones. At number 12, we're going to Abby's Sea Star Spin. Of course, if you like spinning, this ride is definitely for you. At number 11, though, we're going to head up to Sea Dragon Drop, a fun little miniature drop tower. So that wraps up the kid-friendly rides. The top 10 is coming your way right now. The top 10 begins with one of the newer rides at the park. This is Tidal Twister, a Skyline Horizon model dueling ride, and it comes in with a score of 4.91. And I gotta say, at least personally, this ride is pretty underrated. It's got some awesome airtime and hang time to boot. Hopping all the way across the park now at number nine, we have Riptide Rescue, a fun version of a Troika spinning ride where you spin on multiple axes while facing off against your friends. Coming in at number eight, we're gonna head to the classic swinging ride at the park, Tentacle Twirl. This ride looks fantastic, just like a jellyfish should, and it gives you a fantastic view of that area of the park. Speaking of views, we're gonna head to number seven now, which is Sky Tower. It realistically has the best views of the park easily, as well as possibly the best views in the entirety of San Diego County. You can see everywhere from downtown San Diego all the way up the coast. And while yes, it is a little slower paced, that height just brings a bit of that fun factor as well. Well, we're just gonna keep talking about views as we head to number six. This is Bayside Skyride, a fantastic view of the park and the surrounding area at a little bit of a lower height. But with this being an open capsule, you get to smell the ocean, feel that breeze, and get a fantastic look at Mission Bay directly below you. Oh boy, we've made it to the top five already, and we're going to face a roller coaster at number five. This is Journey to Atlantis, one of the better themed attractions at the park. This water coaster features some major splashdown moments as well as some thrilling roller coaster portions. There's a chain lift, an elevator lift, and it's plenty of fun for the entire family, especially on those warmer summer days. You shouldn't get too soaked, but you'll get the perfect amount of coolness, but it really is a fantastic ride for every Everyone in your party. Now, as we head to number four, and we were talking about getting soaked, this is Shipwreck Rapids. This may well be the wettest water ride in Southern California, potentially. Also, add that in with some incredible theming. This is a must hit, especially if it's above 85 degrees. This may well be one of the prettiest attractions at the park with plenty of theming, a giant waterfall section, and even an underground portion. 
And of course you add in all those obstacles, its interaction with the pathways as well as a restaurant. It is just a fantastic looking ride all around and all of that adds into the experience of being on this crazy raft in itself. Again, I think this is a fantastic attraction at the park and I would definitely recommend checking it out as long as it's not too cold because you'll get off of that thing completely soaked head to toe. Well, we've now made it to the top three. You know what are up here. The three major coasters at the park, Electric Eel, Manta, and Emperor. Let's just see how you guys ranked them. At number three, we have the arguably most intense roller coaster at the park. That's right. This is Electric Eel. Eel. This premier Skyrocket 2 model opened just recently in 2018, and it features three launches, including one backwards, 150 foot tall inversion, as well as two vertical spires. This ride is perfect for the intensity lover in your family. Although it's not as well themed, it definitely makes up for that in the pure thrill, especially with the immense airtime and hang time as well as lateral forces that this ride offers. Even though it's technically in a straight line, it is really just an impressive feat of engineering at the park. Do keep in mind though that it can only run one train at a time due to the nature of the ride itself, so wait times might be a little longer for this one, but I can tell you, if you like going upside down, spinning, flying, whatever it is, it's going to be worth that way. Oh boy, number two and number one have been a highly contested topic for months now, especially since the grand opening of Emperor, their brand new dive coaster in March. But let's see what you guys ranked as number two. It looks like Emperor is coming in at number two, the brand new dive roller coaster at the park, the tallest, fastest, and longest dive coaster in all of California. This brand new roller coaster has some pretty amazing and spectacular views looking straight towards downtown or towards Mission Bay with the rest of the park in the foreground. This roller coaster offers one of the craziest views ever. And that's all before dropping down 90 degrees, 143 feet towards the ground and rolling through three different inversions. It's brand new, super smooth, super fun, and pretty forceful as well. The only thing that I think would hinder this ride at all is the lack of theming. But hopefully Hopefully that can change in the near future. I mean, it is a brand new ride after all. But again, this is another fantastic pick if you have any thrill seekers in your party. It's just a fun and extreme time. All right, you know what that means. Number one is Manta, the mock multi-launching coaster at the park that opened 10 years ago now in 2012. This ride though features some of the coolest vantage points on a roller coaster I can think of with brilliant theming completely covering the entirety of the ride's duration, as well as a cool pre-show before the first launch, and even aquarium viewing as you're waiting in line. Speaking on the ride itself though, the launches are forceful, it's very graceful and fun, but still just a bit intense, so I would not recommend this for the little ones per se, but for the rest of the family, this might be a fun experience that they won't want to miss. I mean, heck, you guys voted as a group that Manta is the best overall ride at the park, and I can definitely see your reasoning on that. It is realistically the full package and I would even argue it is probably the best family thrill coaster at least in California if not the entirety of the United States. It has that perfect blend of fun, thrill, and theming and I personally think I agree with you thinking that Manta deserves the number one spot. Well, what'd you think? Do you agree with this list at all? Make sure to let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know what you agree and disagree with. Of course, make sure to let me know your top three at the park down in the comments comments as well. And while you're down there, make sure to check out that description for plenty of links, including our Discord server, our Instagram, and much more, as I'll be putting the links to the current polls ongoing down in the description as well, so you can participate in the next of these videos, because they're currently including parks like SeaWorld Orlando, Sesame Place San Diego, and even Silver Dollar City in Branson, Missouri. So if you've been to the parks that are in the polls currently right now, make sure to pop right in and help us with making all of these awesome videos. With that said though, I wanted to say thank you for participating and watching these videos as usual. I really, really do appreciate it. But of course, until next time, 
We'll see you on the next ride.